A function f models the amount given to charity as a function of income. The graph of f is shown in the figure. Explain why f has an inverse. Well, if we check horizontal lines anywhere that we draw them, none ever cross more than once, and it also passes the vertical line test. So because it passes the vertical and horizontal line test, that means it has an inverse. We also want to find f of 80. Well, that means find 80, and what is the function value at 80? Well, reading it off, when um, our value of income is 80, we can see that the amount of giving to charity is equal to 2,000. And so f of 80 is equal to 2,000. From there now, we want to describe in practical, practical terms the meaning of f inverse of 2,000. Well, if inverse of 2,000 is going the other direction from 2,000, we'd be inversing back to 80. And so that means that the income, 80, uh, that f of negative 2,000 would represent the income of someone who gives $2,000 to charity. And so that would mean that f of inverse of 2,000 represents the income $80,000 of someone who gives $2,000 to charity.